how can such small lamps be so tempting to insects? According to the experts, such a small lamp can play the role of pest control covering an area of 20 to 30 mu of land, approximately 13,000 to 20,000 square meters. Can this light really be so magical? Let's have a look together. This is a dung beetle, which eats dung. This one is a melanonthidae, a big one, found in Guangdong province. This one is a noctuidae, Lepidoptera. This one is Prodenia linura, Fabricius, a pregnant one. Killing this achieves the purpose of killing thousands. Why do these pests take the risk of death to come here? The moths killed themselves. Did they stray into the killing field in search of food? Or were they attracted to the light too much? Not all kind of insects like light. There are two types. Diurnal and nocturnal. For agricultural pests, a larger proportion of them are nocturnal. For example, most moths are agricultural pests. They come out under the light at night, looking for crops to reproduce in. In fact, nocturnal moths determine their direction according to moonlight. As the moths are far away from the moon, the moon seems to be still in the air when the moths are flying. The moonlight seems to come from the same direction when they fly around. They regard the moon as a navigational tool and use it to fly in a straight line. This is why nocturnal moths like the light. This phenomenon is also called astro-navigation. As the moth's navigation system is formed by its compound eyes, it mistakenly considers the light on the ground as the moonlight. The light is so close to the moths that it appears to be moving. The moths instinctively keep a fixed angle with the light. They adjust their direction of flight, getting closer and closer to the light, and turning around until they're exhausted and die. Phototaxis is a biological habit of insects. In other words, this is a genetic characteristic taught by their parents. They will pass on this habit from generation to generation. Since these insects are born to like light, can normal light attract and kill them as well? What magic does this light have? Different insects prefer different wavelengths. This light is different from black light, of which the wavelength is 330 nanometers. In fact, its wavelength is from 320 to 580 nanometers, which covers the edge of ultraviolet to visible light, creating a wide spectrum of wavelengths to attract insects. Different insects have different sensitivity to light. Although the bulb is not very bright, it has a wide spectrum of wavelengths and thus is a stronger temptation to pests, which is different from the ordinary light bulb. As the pests keep spinning around the light, as well as the light reflected in the basin, they will easily get dizzy. That means they're deceived again and lose their direction. As a result, more and more pests are attracted and killed. The pests are muddled by the moon in the water because they think it's the real moon. They then fall into the water. Therefore, the pests fall into the death trap due to their genetic and biological habit. In this way, damage or harm to crops will be reduced. But not all nocturnal insects are harmful to crops. The natural enemies of pests are also phototaxis. Won't they fall into the death traps as well? I spent two months in Shandong province last year and found that the proportion of natural enemies trapped was quite low, probably less than 1%, while the percentage of pests was truly large, particularly Ostrinia funicalis, Prodenia litura, Helicovarpa armigera, Agrotus ypsilon, Grilla talpa orientalis, and Anomala corpulenta. 
In fact, the secret of this light is that this light is intelligent. At about 8pm, the bulb will turn on automatically. At this time, crustacean pests begin to come out. More and more moths become active at 11pm. The light will turn on between 7.40 and 8pm, which is the rest time for natural enemies. At about 2am to 3am, the bulb will turn off automatically. In other words, the natural enemies, whose active time is at dawn, can avoid being killed. This intelligent solar insect killer is equipped with a timer control which can protect natural enemies effectively. According to the study, the active time for natural enemies is from 3 a.m. to 8 p.m. So the lighting time is set between 8 p.m. and 3 a.m., aiming at killing harmful pests only. Most of the pests killed are adults. As we all know, adult insects don't live very long. So what's the point in killing them? See, there are so many eggs. Killing this adult moth can achieve the purpose of killing thousands. Killing adult insects helps exterminate future pests before they can cause a hazard. This is an advanced step compared to killing eggs. Nowadays, it's difficult to find pesticides to kill eggs, so taking the earliest step to kill the pregnant adults is the best way. It's clear that killing a pregnant adult equals to killing thousands of larvae. Even if the light attracts and kills those adults that are not pregnant, it will reduce their mating opportunities. In short, killing the adults is to control the pest damage to crops from its source. The battery inside will be charged by solar energy first, which supplies power to the attracting bulb. The light is reflected in the water. Just put clean water in a basin with some sugar, vinegar or washing powder to attract the insects better. How much water is needed? There's a water setting line in the basin. Just fill the water to the line. The water will overflow if there's too much, while the insects will fly away if there isn't enough. That's why a fixed water line is set. According to the different time periods of pests and their natural enemies, this intelligent solar insect killer attracts and kills pests through specific wavelengths and light resonances. As a result, the pests feel dizzy, fall into the water and drown. In this way, both the natural enemies and the environment can be effectively protected because of the reduction of pesticide usage.